ball. Nice kick, Murcat. Thanks, DJ Catnip. My shimmering sea skills are stylish and sporty. Pansy power! Whoa! Meowsers! Maybe that was a little too much power. Here, Pansy! Whoops! Thanks, Kitty Fairy. Ready for more Kitty Ball? I'm gonna give this a spin. I'm gonna bop it off my head and pass. I'm gonna jump and pass. I'm gonna flip and pass. This is fantastic. I never want this game to end. Huh? It's the ice cream truck! The ice, the cream, ice cream truck! truck. Yahoo! Okay, Pom Pom Ball is over. Let's go get some ice cream! Whoa! This is a big backyard! I'm excited! Let's go! We're on an ice cream quest! Wait, is that Cakey? Cakey will want to share treats with everyone. Well then let's book you on over there and get some ice cream. Leap and Lily, it's so far from here there. That's a problem. We have a big yard ahead of us and we don't know how to get to Cakey's ice cream truck so far away. You know what Gabby would say, we don't know how to get to the ice cream truck yet. Hey, maybe we can leap Lily. And maybe we can do a fast boogie woogie. Yay! Yay! Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a whale of an idea. Let's go! Whee! Check me out. One, two, three, and jump! Yay! We're doing it! Yay! We're doing it! Whee! Off over the flower. Whoa, that's a big pool of water between us and the ice cream truck. Twinkling tide pools, I could swim in. I could fly across, but we need to find a way for all of us to get to the ice cream truck. We can do it, we just need to get a little creative. Hmm, I've got an idea. Here I go! Almost there! What are we gonna do? We've gotta find a way to get everybody across the water. I'm out of ideas. If only there was something we could float on. Maybe we need to ask for help. Do you see anything that could help us over the water? A sponge? A sponge! Of course! We did it! Yahoo! Yay! Yay! Cakey! Hi, kitties! Hi, Cakey! Hi, Cakey! Ice cream. Would I like some ice cream, please? You're just in time. Woohoo! Kitty ice cream for everybody. Yay! This tail five, everybody. We did it. High, High five. five! You know the only thing that can make this ice cream even better? What? what? Sprinkles! Sprinkle party! Whether they are playing pretend in Pillow Cat's bedroom or changing up hairstyles in Murcat's bathroom, Gabby and the Gabby Cats love to play dress up. Today, I'm getting crafty rhythmic and making headbands inspired by all of the Gabby Cats. Come on, let's give it a go together. First up, let's make some pandy ears. 
Gabby's ears to get tiny look just like Pandy's. So when you wear these ears, you can look like Pandy or Gabby. Pandy is a white cat, so I'm starting by covering my headband in white fabric. Cardboard is sturdy material for making kitty cat ears. To make this headband look like our friend Pandy, let's color one ear black. Catastic! The insides of Pandy's ears are pink, and to make this look like Gabby's headband, I'm using sparkles. All that's left to do is attach each ear. Now we can all match Gabby and Pandy. Baby Box is one crafty cat, so I'm making her headband with a cardboard base and blue paper to look like her dress. Her dress is covered in glitter-rific polka dots. Baby Box has bright pink ears, with light pink insides. Now I have a headband to wear anytime I'm feeling crafty rific. I'm pretty great at making things. Gabby and Pandy love to bakey with cakey, so let's make some cakey ears. Cakey looks like a cupcake, and his body looks like a pink and blue cupcake liner. So I'm wrapping the bottom of the headband in pink and blue hair ties. I'll wrap the rest of the headband in fluffy white yarn to look like Cakey's frosting head. Each one of Cakey's ears looks like a swirly frosting tip. These pen caps are perfect for Cakey's sprinkles. This headband is ready for a sprinkle party. Now for everyone's favorite sneaky kitty, Cat Rat. Cat Rat is blue and furry, and I have just the fabric to use as the base of his headband. He has tall, skinny ears with dark blue tips. Can't forget the pink insides. Now it's time to add Cat Rat's signature dark blue stripes. A meowsing. This headband is fit for one cool cat. Nicely done! Time to make a headband inspired by the dollhouse's resident scientist, Murcat. Her skin is seafoam green, so I'm making the base of the headband the same color. Murcat is covered in shimmering sea scales, so I'm using this glittery confetti and this piece of foam to make scales for my headband. Murcat wears a fuchsia pink sea star on her head. I'm making mine out of pink clay. All that's left to finish my Murcat headband is her kitty cat ears. Is one cute headband. <gasps> Shimmering sea scales! Gabby loves playing dress up in Pillow Cat's bedroom. I'm making a headband so I can dress up like Pillow Cat. 
Pillow Cat is a squeezy, cuddly, cat-shaped pillow. So I'm starting this headband by covering it in pillow stuffing. Her body is made of colorful patchwork fabric. I need to cover the ends to make sure no stuffing escapes. Pillow Cat's fabric is sewn together with colorful threads. I'm using this yarn to show the stitches on the headband. I hear Pillow Cat's story time is best heard with kitty cat ears. Pawtastic! With this Pillow Cat headband, I'm ready for dress up, a story, or even a cat nap. Oh, was I catnapping? Now it's time to get my groove on. DJ Catnip in the house. DJ Catnip has purple fur, so I'm starting with purple fabric on my headband. For DJ Catnip's funky stripes, I'm adding sticky tape and using little hair scrunchies for the different colors. I'm making the ears of my headband sparkly, just like DJ Catnip's hoodie. Groovy! Wearing this headband, I'll be ready to dance it out, mix up beats, or learn a new instrument. Vroom vroom, start your engines. It's time to make a Carlita headband. I'm starting by making this headband sparkly and purple, like Carlita's paint. Carlita's ears are pretty small, so I'll add two little ears to the headband. She zooms around the dollhouse thanks to her speedy wheels. And we can't forget her blue racing stripe. With this Carlita headband, I'm ready to race off to my next adventure. Let's fly over to the fairy tale garden to make our kitty fairy headband. Kitty Fairy has fluffy dandelions that sprout out of her head. To make dandelions, I'm covering a pipe cleaner in green tape and attaching it to a white pom-pom. Now it's time to make her pink ears. Kitty Fairy is an expert at garden magic and knows how to grow the prettiest flowers, just like the ones she wears on her head. I'm using green foam for the leaves, white foam for the petals, and yellow pom-poms for the centers. Ta-da! Anything feels possible with my Kitty Fairy headband. I hope you had fun watching me create headbands inspired by our Gabby Cat friends. Try making one of these headbands so you too can express your catitude. Welcome to my dollhouse. Hanging in my room, just you and me. Dollhouse delivery, what could it be? Playing in Gabby's. Dollhouse! Talking about Gabby's. Dollhouse! A pinch on the left and a pinch on the right. Grab Pandy's hand and hold on tight. It's time to get tiny. Uh -oh. You know where to find me. Let's go! Don't you want to go? Where the bath balls bubble and the sprinkles flow. If it's something we don't know, it's all right. Let's give it a go! Hey, Gabby! Take us to the dollhouse Hey Gabby Little by little let's live in the world Take Emer, Cat and Q 
kitty fairy cooking up goodies for us to share with dancing with the box cats and carlita dj catnip dropping the pita cat rats popping from room to room pillow cats thinking about taking a snooze and dreaming of gabby's playing in gabby's don't you want to go we can play all day i can paint your toe if there's something we don't know it's all right Today, I'm so excited to do a catastic craft from Gabby's Dollhouse. Purse Day Hug Attack! Purse Day is everyone's favorite holiday in the dollhouse. It's a day to celebrate all things cats. Happy Purse Day, everybody! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! In order to have a great Purse Day party, we need some decorations. In Gabby's Dollhouse, Baby Box teaches Gabby and Pandy how to make some. Today, I'm going to make some Peekaboo Kitty paper dolls of my own. Let's get crafting. <laughs> we'll need some paper, scissors, glue, tape, markers, and some fun stuff to decorate it with. Let's see what the first step is. To make Peekaboo Kitty paper dolls, you start with a big piece of paper. Fold your paper accordion style, under, over, under, over. So, over, under, over, under. Now you draw your peekaboo kitty. Just follow me. Make a big round shape at the bottom and you go up to make the arm. Oh, and this is the important part. You gotta let the arm go all the way to the edge of the paper, like this. Then curve up to make the head and the little kitty ears. Then down to the other arm. And here is my peekaboo kitty outline. Ta-da! 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 Now you keep your paper folded and cut out your kitty. Cutty, cutty. This is my favorite sound. And done. We 
get to open it up. I love this part. Let's all do it together on the count of three. <laughs> Aw, the hamster kitties want to see too. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! <gasps> it worked! Oh my gosh, five kitties! They're all so cute! Now let's give them kitty faces. Two little kitty eyes, a kitty nose, and a happy kitty mouth. So now I'm gonna do some round eyes. Like it's sleeping. And then a cute little nose and a mouth. Now, I think I'm gonna give them some ears. Perfect. Aren't they all so cute? Now you can decorate your peekaboo kitty with paint, jewels, pom poms, whatever you want. Here is my Peekaboo Kitty Paper Dolls. Ooh! <laughs> it's like they're all dressed up for Purr's Day. Let's see if I can make some different shapes. I'm gonna try clouds. Yay! Time to decorate. Which one's your favorite? There are so many different ways to decorate Peekaboo Kitty paper dolls. And there are so many different shapes to try. These Peekaboo Kitties are ready for a Purr's Day party. I had so much fun making these cat-tastic crafts and I hope you had fun watching. Try it yourself. Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to get five awesome nail art designs all inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. The first design is a pretty rainbow gradient. First, apply a white polish, then border the nail with scotch tape to help protect the skin. Now apply pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, and orange to a makeup sponge. Sponge onto the nail to transfer the color. Let dry, then reapply the colors to the sponge and sponge again until you get a nice blended look. Once you're done, remove the tape from around the nail and clean up any excess polish that got on the skin with a flat brush and polish remover. Add a layer of top coat for a nice glossy finish. Next, we have a sprinkle design inspired by Keiki. First, apply a white polish to the nail. With a thin brush, add small lines using a pink polish. Add some more lines using a blue polish. And again with a purple shade. Finish off the sprinkles with orange and yellow colors. Then top it off with a layer of top coat. This next design is inspired by Gabby's cute striped cat shirt. To begin, apply a white polish. Then use a thin brush and black polish to draw multiple lines going across and down the nail. Now fill in the spaces to create thick stripes. If you need to, you can use the white polish to make the stripes more crisp. On the top stripe, use a thin brush and white polish to outline a cat shape. Then fill it in. Repeat the previous steps and add another cat to the bottom stripe. And now add some gloss. 
This design is inspired by the little peekaboo cats in the Gabby's Dollhouse logo. First, apply a purple base color. Then use a pink polish and brush to outline a cat shape coming from one side of the nail. Now fill it in with the pink shade. Use a black polish to add eyes and a little nose. Then draw the mouth coming down from the nose. Once dry, add your top coat. The last design is inspired by Mercat and her pretty scales. First, apply a light green polish. With the dotting tool, add dots in a variety of colors which are dark blue, light blue, green, and purple. Keep adding dots, shaping them into a curve onto the nail. Once dry, take a fine glitter topper and add one layer to the nail for some pretty sparkles. And of course, don't forget your layer of gloss. So that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these five nail art designs inspired by Gabby's Dollhouse. My name is Tessa and I have the perfect summer craft for you. I'm going to show you how to fly like a Gabby cat with these DIY kites inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make my favorite cat, Pandy. And the best part is you can make any Gabby cat you want. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. To make a Pandy kite, you'll need paper, a pencil, string, glue, scissors, a stapler, a hole punch, pipe cleaners, and ribbon. Now let's get crafting. And remember, you can always ask a grown-up for help. First, fold your paper in half like you're making a greeting card. Since I'm making Pandy, I'm using white paper. Make sure the folded edge is on the left. Now draw a triangle for a cat ear in the top corner. Next, draw a line connecting the ear to the fold and another line to the edge of the paper. Cut along the line you drew and open your paper. You made a pandy face! Next, let's add pandy soft gray snow. Cut a big upside down U shape from gray paper and glue it down in the center of the face you made. Oh gosh, this glue is very drippy. Now fold your pandy closed again. Pull one of the bottom corners back towards the fold, like this. Now do the same on the other side. Now have a grown-up help you staple both corners in place. Thank you. You're welcome. Then make a hole at the bottom of your kite. Whoops, I hole punched the back. I got a hole punch the front. We'll tie our string through this hole later. Now for my favorite part. It's time to decorate and make our pandy kite come to life. Oh, hi, it's me. Using pink paper, cut two triangles for pandy's ears and a heart for pandy's adorable little nose. To make eyes, cut two ovals from white paper and two smaller ovals from black paper. You can cut extra white circles to make Pandy's eyes sparkle. Next, cut one smaller black triangle for Pandy's signature black ear. Pandy paws! <laughs> Last, we're making whiskers with pipe cleaners. Now glue everything into place and wait for it to dry. Razzle dazzle, glue streamers onto your kite. And finally, tie a string through the hole you made earlier, and you're ready to fly like a Gabby cat. I'm always up for whatever when I'm with you. Thanks for crafting with me. I hope you have a catastic time flying all your kites with your pals this summer. 
and don't forget to catch Gabby's Dollhouse, now streaming on Netflix.